Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today, we're going to be showing you how to install the late model BMW, what we call pencil style coils. These are the late model coils that simply slide into place and don't have any attachment screws. Now there's some very specific installation procedures we need to be aware of with these coils. If they're not installed properly, we can get check engine codes after uh, installing the coils or actually a no start situation. It all has to do with this locking clip and the plug housing. This is a factory BMW Bosch coil. This is our high performance coil. They both install the same way. Let's take a look and see how it goes. Now the first step in accessing our ignition coils is to remove this plastic trim cover. This is secured with a nut under this little trim cap and there's another at the rear. These caps pry off like that. And we have a 10 millimeter nut securing the cover. And there we go, there's the nut. Grab the rear one. Like that. And we remove the oil cap. Then the cover just lifts off. Just like that. Set it aside. Put the oil cap back on. Make sure nothing falls down in. And now we're ready to access the coils that we have here. Now here we have our six coils. These particular coils, you can see the red clip. These are the Bavarian Autosport high performance coils that are already installed in this engine. So we'll just show you how to remove these coils or a standard coil, they're both the same and some of the special points once we go for the reinstallation. First thing is to pull the locking clip, release it at the end, pull up, and notice that it pushes the female harness plug off of the coil. There are tracks on the side of the plug and pins on the lock housing that actually, when you push it down, pull the plug into place, and push it off when we open. This is very important and this is part of what we'll show you details on later. Pull the plug off and set it aside. Now we're ready to remove the coil. Typically you can't just pull this up. The boot below is secured onto the spark plug fairly firmly. There are two ways we can deal with this. One, gently with a screwdriver get on the side of the coil itself, pry up while pulling, and we can come up like that, okay? Now it's free. The other method, we'll secure that back down. The other method is using pliers. Again, carefully, the back of the plastic coil housing here can be used to grab your pliers on, and again, whoop, gently pull up while pulling with your hands. We typically prefer the pry method. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the pliers here, but same thing. Grab on the back, right here, to pull up if you choose to use the pliers. Now, here's the complete coil. Notice the rubber boot on the bottom. This is where it was secured onto the spark plug, just with the rubber on the spark plug insulator. Sometimes this can be so stuck that the boot will stay behind down in the hole and you'll just get the upper part of the coil out. If that happens, the only thing you can do is try to get this boot out by using needle nose pliers down through the uh, well here to grab the boot and try to pull it off. That happens rarely but it can happen. So we'll pull this out of the way now. And now we have 
a new Bavarian Autosport high performance coil. And as you recall, we already have high performance coils in this engine. So we'll just show you a sample installation of a new unit. Now we're ready to install the new coil. Uh, also, very quickly, I'll show you what this boot looks like removed in case your original stays behind. There's the boot. This is the end of the coil. If this part stays behind, you'll pull out something that looks like this. So we'll go back together. We're ready to just slide this down in over the spark plug and firmly press it into place until this area on the front is flush with the molded in flange on the valve cover. Now we're ready to insert the plug. All right, now that we have our coil installed and we pushed it down firmly on top of the spark plug, we know it's all the way in when this area at the front here on the rubber boot is flush with this plastic flange on the valve cover. That tells us that the coil is seated firmly all the way down. Now we'll take our plug housing and slide it onto the coil's plug and push it on. Now where we find problems specifically is on the new coils. They can be rather tight going together with the original plug housing and people will push on like this and then just push the cover down and it d won't pull the plug housing all the way home. When we have this plug housing inserted properly and all the way on, it will actually pull this cover down as it goes on and then we'll snap it home. So now we can either push firmly, see how the cover went down, and all the way on, continue to push on while we're closing the cover and snap it home. Now I was observing the gap between the plug housing and the coil was coming to a close. And we'll show you some details on that later. And now we need to undo this because I want to show you something else. Use a pry. And now the plug will come off as we pull up. See how the cover pulls the plug home or when we pull up, pushes the plug off, just like we showed you with the original removal. Now alternately, if this was too difficult to push together with my hands, I can call my channel lock pliers in again, and between the edge of the housing here and the back of the coil here, I can get the pliers on carefully and squeeze and again that'll pull the plug home and again we can tell it's going properly because it pulls the cover down into the locking position as it comes home and then again we would lock the cover assuring that our gap is gone there which we'll show you now in detail now we'll show you the details that you can look at to assure that your plug is inserted fully onto the coil First, we'll unsnap the cover, pull the cover up, and it forces the plug off. Now, this top edge of the plug must be flush with this back flange on the coil, right here, this back flange of the coil. This edge of the plug needs to mate right up with that. If we have the plug in any other position, if there's any space, in here, even if it's the width of this screwdriver tip here, just here, that's too much and you may not have good contact. So we pull the plug in and as we're coming in, we're watching the gap right here. As we push the cover down, the gap will get smaller and smaller and right there, we almost have the cover snapped closed, and there's very little space. I can't get the screwdriver in there. That's proper. As I snap the cover closed, it pulls that space right up to nothing. Now, you can't see it under here, but I watched as it was closing, 
and that space went right down to nothing. That assures me the plug housing is all the way on to the coil's plug. Now the other thing to look for on the edge right down here, this side of the plug housing will be flush or even inboard slightly like this one is with this edge right here. If we were to snap this cover down and it did not grab the plug properly and pull it all the way home, we would see something more like See if we can imitate an improperly plugged unit here. Okay, now if we see something like this, where the cover is outboard of that flange, that's telling us that this plug is not all the way home, and it actually, right now, you can see the gap right here too. Now, cover snapped fully home, we have the cover flush or inboard with this part of the plastic flange, and again, no gap between the plug housing and the coil. Those are our indicators to be sure we have this fully plugged in. If this is not fully plugged in, even by a small amount, we can get check engine codes, which uh, fault codes for misses, and in the worst cases, if there's more than one that way, we can get an actual no start situation. The cure is simply go back in and recheck all of our plugs and follow the steps we've just shown you here. With that, you should never have any problem with these late model style pencil coils. Okay, so there you have it. A very easy installation, just a couple of points to pay attention to on that plug housing. If you do that, everything should be good, no fault codes, short and sweet on the job, and you'll be all set with a quick and easy installation. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit your like button, and please send us comments to let us know how we're doing. Have an awesome day.